Hi gang, Ken here from uh, Four Seasons Antiques and Collectibles. Um, this weekend we were able to get out and uh, hit a storage auction. We got two units. Uh, we're going to do a little live uh, video where I talk about a couple items we got. And then uh, show you some items that I got. Some other picks. Then we'll get into the uh, pictures and go over the items we got. Hope you enjoy the video. Uh, please make sure you leave your comments below and uh, take an opportunity to subscribe to the rest of our videos as they come up this year. Hi gang, Ken from Four Seasons. How's everyone doing today? Um, this weekend, out storage auctions, got two units. Uh, didn't do bad. I spent about uh, $300. Uh, one was mixed with tools and a couple antique-ish type items. The other one was a bunch of lumber with some windows. Uh, spot some tackle boxes. Thought I'd get lucky there. Uh, but no luck in the tackle boxes. Uh, but we did get some neat stuff, as you can see from the pictures. Um, and I'll talk about prices later. Just going to show you one of the items I got today was this uh, spotlight. And I'm not sure if it's off a boat or a car. But I was checking out some of the spotlights um, online. Uh, not the exact same as this. Uh, but they were going for two, three hundred dollars. So, you know, if I can get this one, two, three hundred bucks, that'd be awesome. Um, uh, the other thing I got was a bunch of books. And I had showed uh, the retail prices on the books um, in my pictures. But just to give you an idea what the total is, the total for that is $417. Uh, even if I can get 200 bucks out of them, some of the brand new coffee table books, still with the uh, outside sleeves, uh, a lot of the um, the books are about uh, Inuits and natives. Um, I'm in a native area with uh, several reserves, um, so I'm hoping to do well with those books. Uh, not to mention that um, one was on local steam ships in our area, so I should be able to do that well with that. I'm just going to show a couple other items from um, a couple other picks I got. Uh, here's one here. Um, unfortunately, it's in rough shape um, because, as you can see, the, the, the mirror is falling off. Oops, almost fell off right there. No good to break a mirror. And then someone's bent it in the back. Now, having seen that, this is a Burke Sterling mirror. So the value of this, um, even in, I think, this lousy condition, is probably um, 100 bucks, scrap silver, right? So I got that at uh, my first garage sale of the year. So it uh, wasn't bad. And then I also got these postcards here. There, there's no dates on them unfortunately and, and I don't know if you can see but uh, there's a little bit of glitter on them and now what I'm hoping is the glitter that's on them is original and wasn't put on later. These were made in France um, but they're great little pieces, very pretty. They're uh, black and white with a little grey background and then someone's taken some kind of sparkle and sparkled them up now these are Waco prints, uh, three of them are, and the other one's a super uh, print. Great little postcards, uh, not sure the value of those, but even if I can get $5 a piece, there's $20, uh, and I got a whole box of vintage stuff. Oh, that's my wife moving furniture in the background, don't know if you can hear it, but uh, it's all good. Um, so I just want to give you a quick re detail. I tried. Uh, doing a um, video on my garage with my phone that didn't work. I tried doing a live video out at um, the storage unit, but I couldn't get that to work. So again, I gotta go back to doing the webcam thing. Sorry about that. Really wanted to show you guys uh, more stuff and, and what we got this week, but uh, didn't do a very good job of it. Like I said, I having trouble uh, making the other things work. So uh, we'll keep. We'll try next time again. Um, I still have to go and unload the units. So maybe when I try and unload them, we'll do a video again. That's my little daughter in there with the little rabbit. So we got the first locker today, yesterday. Now we paid 
225. Uh, we paid that price based on some scaffolding that we valued at about 125. Uh, rigid tool set that retails about 199. Couple vintage tables, we figured 25 bucks each. A pressure washer, around 25. Oh, saw okay. cash register for 50. Uh, table saw, 50 to 100 dollars. A large trunk, uh, folding rocking chairs, and a master scrap battery charger. So we figured on the high side it was about 705 dollars. On the low end it was 550. So 225 was okay. Here's a picture of the uh, locker. Um, you can see some of the items there. Uh, some of the other items that we found was a tuner amp. Uh, we valued about fifty dollars. Um, some great um, tabletop books that value somewhere between two hundred and four hundred dollars. Some nice doors that you can see there that we're going to value about fifty to hundred bucks. A material wheelbarrow which I figure you can get twenty five for, and a bunch of other items that we figure is probably about another hundred hundred and fifty dollars worth. We got this little uh, fountain that I've lost already to my wife. Um, she's put it in the house, so which is nice though, because it all looks nice. Uh, then we here's the Ridgeway tool set that I saw uh, coming up here. Plugged it in. They both charge both batteries. Both items work. You know they're retailing at one ninety nine. You know we're gonna hope to get between fifty and a hundred dollars if we're lucky on Kijiji. Um, here's a cash register, just a simple one, but you know it's a fifty to hundred dollar cash register. Uh, see them all the time for sale. Um, in my case, I might keep this one as a backup at one of my stores because uh, I don't have any backups right now for one store. So more than likely, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, this next group is uh, a box of books. They're really rough, uh, poor condition. If I get five to ten dollars for them, I think I'll be happy. Uh, this next group of books you see here are, are the ones that we thought were really exceptional. Um, I put prices what we think they will sell what they originally sold for. Um, or I had the actual price because it was on the book. So in total they came up to $417. I'm hoping to get somewhere around $100 to $200 for them. Um, as you see the one book here is $110 full value. I guess I shouldn't be eating while doing this. Sorry, guys. Um, this one here is Northern Steamboats. That's a local book. Uh, originally retail for 50 so I'm hoping to get about $25 for it. And even though it's in rough condition, because it's local, I should be able to do that. The second locker, um, we paid 65 bucks. Uh, what we saw was two tackle boxes, two fish tanks, tools, a toolbox, I mean, vintage speakers, CDs, some pallets bunch of wood, two windows in a cabinet. Mm, I think we've made out okay. Once we cleaned out the unit though we found um, a Blacker Decker whiz tool, a uh, hanging wheel light which you'll see up, coming up. Um, we saw Mart it's a uh, tuner which will sell for 25 to 50 dollars. Some bolt lights, a neat spotlight. Um, some of the ones I looked up online are selling for 100 100 to 200 dollars so hopefully we're in the 100 dollar range on this one some nice brass door handles not brass brass um, so i'm hoping to get you know 25 bucks for those here's the first fish tank we saw um, no lid for it but it has everything else with it i'm um, hoping to get around 40 dollars for it because it's not uh, there is no lid but there might be in that unit as you can see in the back there's some fishing rods and badminton things but we'll just keep those for the house here's a second tank it's a lot bigger comes with the lid on top um, and all the stuff inside um, the filters and everything so I'm hoping to get $60 for that one this is this uh, whiz tool from Black & Decker uh, the tool itself works but I don't know how to make the extension work um, but again if I can get five ten dollars for it it'll help uh, cover our costs. Here's a couple of neat items we got. Um, the vintage bottle which is five to ten dollars. The little uh, lobster thing. I'm gonna try and put you know ten bucks on it. And then we got these sandblast little things. I'm not exactly sure what they are. I'll have to wait and talk to some of the guys that know their tools better than I do. But I'm thinking they're probably worth at least five bucks. Um, here's the hanging lamp I had. The wheel lamp. 
I'm probably going to put 25 on it. Uh, if I'm lucky, I'll, I'll get it. If not, oh well. Um, one of the things we did get in the first unit, which I forgot to mention, was a big, huge chandelier uh, hanging light. So we should do well with that. Here's a two-ton capacity jack. It looks complete. Looks like we're missing one thing on the end. I'm not sure what it is. Um, but even still, it should be five, ten dollar jack easily all day long. Here's the uh, Marinitz. Sorry, I can't pronounce it. Tuner uh, amplifier. Like I said, should be able to get $25, $50 for that. But overall, I think I did well on the units. Um, I know some of my friends are going to laugh at me in the uh, storage world because uh, I put up a picture in one of the groups I belong to and they're all saying I should pay 25 bucks for that first unit. So hopefully we'll do better um, and double or triple my money. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos and make sure that you comment below and you subscribe.